Hey everyone, Shipper 1000 here. Now this is going to be loud, but listen to this. stalls the engine out on an idle which it shouldn't do that of course you're not supposed to kick it in on an idle but it's not supposed to stall out either so we well if we had smell a vision you could smell this belt so we got to change these well actually this belt is flipped see that groove right there Screw's not supposed to be in there. <clears throat> so one of these is seizing up, and the other two, I'm sure, are making all the racket. Well, I think this one here, I think this one here is actually seized. Get this raised up. Okay. I'm gonna stick my hand under here. Okay, yeah. This one here, it's not seized, but it's having a really Yeah, so, all right, I'll show you what we gotta do. Okay, so we got our spindles here. Now, like I said before, these spindles, yeah, they got grease fittings on them, see? But these are sealed bearings, so. You're wasting your time and money by shooting grease in them. We got three new blades, three new spindles. We got a new belt. Those come with the bolts. And we've got our pulleys. So it takes two this size. And I believe it's the center one. It takes this. All right. So that's what we got to pull on. But first, we got to take the deck off. Whew. at least get that done tonight I know you can't see real well but we've got a pin here we've got to pull on each side we've got one right up here that we got to pull on each side and there's one up front and then of course our belt so I'm going to go ahead all you got to do just pull these pins out and this will slide off. Trust me, it slides off. <laughs> There's still a little bit of weight hanging on it, but that'll slide off same way with the other side. Same way with this one. Um, you can take that bolt out if you want. I find it easier to just take the pin out. And then the one up front, right up there, I know you can't see it. So I'm gonna pull them out and then I don't know if I'm going to slide this deck out or run the mower over top of it. Uh, I'll probably just slide the deck out. We'll see. Hang tight, guys. There we go. Now here's our deck. So I think what I'm going to do tonight, I'm just going to hose that off. And I'll start on the rest of the stuff tomorrow. Oh, shit. 
this is the middle one. Hear how loud that is? Very, very loud. This one's the same way. That's kind of getting noisy. Let me see. Sent me the wrong damn pulleys, guys. Damn it. Jeez. Well, I'll just use my pulleys. Yeah. That one's actually the quietest. All right. I'm gonna pop these off. There's just, uh, what? One, two, three bolts on there. And over here on this side, it's got one, uh, I think there's one under here, two. Okay, then I'll hose that off and then yeah, he sent me the wrong damn pulley. Well, one of them's right. That one's right. <sighs> All right, anyway. Stupid idiots. All right, let me get these uh, covers off of here. And then I'll get these, I'll get this hosed off. Check this out, guys. We got a pulley over there. Got a pulley here, pulley here, pulley here. We've got an idler pulley here. What's that? There's supposed to be one of these right there. Where did it go? It's gone. It is freaking gone. So that one's still pretty quiet. I will save this one. This one's shot. These two are shot. I'm gonna save that one, use that for a backup. Definitely gonna have to get one of these. So this won't be done tonight anyhow. But where in the hell did it go? Of course it's no good anyway, but yeah. Alright guys, I'll be back with you. Maybe tomorrow, but for you, either way, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I've got this all washed down, all the dirt out of it. Um, I have a pulley, I did find the old one, I have a pulley for this that will fit, and I want to go buy another one because the other one's, ah, it's not going to last very long. And, well, I couldn't get one, so neither of our hardware stores, even Lowe's, they didn't have it. This deck is getting, the paint's getting bad on it. I think I got some yellow paint I'll just shoot on there to kind of help preserve it a little bit. Um, you know, guys, I know. I'm not rebuilding this deck. I'm not restoring it. This is a working machine, so I don't care. Now, this... I did not wash this out. I honestly didn't. This is just from what splashed over from out these holes and stuff when I was hosing it off. So this, uh, yeah, this, this is how clean it was. <clears throat> so I haven't touched this because, you know, I got to take these off piece of my old paracord there's some wire wrapped around here for something now you can hear them you can hear them now that one's quiet I am going to change it but I'm going to keep it in case of an emergency but yeah see these look how bad that's worn down because I went out one day <laughs> see how bad that one is 
it goes from bad to not so bad to ah, this is pretty much what you would expect down here with all this sand we've got um, but I went out <laughs> went out to smoke a cigarette one day and she was out back mowing and I seen a whole bunch of dust and I was like what the hell and I come out she was mowing with a flat tire the rear tire was flat on this side so that's why that got worse than the other two because you know it goes from low back up to a little higher so but I do have new blades so I'm gonna drag this back over here I gotta get my garage cleaned out I know guys um, here's a pulley I need it's feeling a little crusty these are steel bearings, so you can't grease them. I do have that little needle thing that goes on the end of my uh, grease gun that you can stick down in here and grease that, but uh, I conveniently cannot find it. I usually just leave it on the end of the grease gun. It's not there, so it has fallen off or something, but I think I'll punch a little hole in there and maybe put a little bit of oil in there this has only got to last for the yard one more one cut because I got to get this I got to get this yard cut it's it's bad so um, so this will work for that Monday the tractor the actual tractor store where monkey ran into that customers ride mower it'll be open Monday so I can get one of them there so it's only got to last one time. And I don't have to pull the deck off to change this, so it's not a big deal. It'll work for today. We can get the other stuff back on it. So let me get this drug back over here. And let's commence to commencing. We'll get the, uh, let's see. I don't think I'll have to take the blades off of these. Yeah, I will because I'm going to need that nut. I was going to say I could just pull them off and throw them away, but I will need the nuts off of there. And, of course, i got to use these pulleys. So, not a big deal. Like I said, I'm going to see if i got some yellow paint and shoot some yellow paint on here because you see how this flakes off? Same way with the, uh, the fenders, or some people call them a deck, but, yeah, see how that's flaking off? That paint just flakes off. Right over here. It flakes off. Now, if you look at mine, 1974, that don't do that. See how it'll rust, but it's wearing through. It does not flake off. Look how much better the paint is. If this was painted the way hers, her newer one, newer style, that thing would be gone there'd be nothing left of it but anyway guys um, I don't know if I want to paint this thing or not some things I just like to leave alone and it'll probably be like that for a while I may I may paint hers <coughs> excuse me I don't have to worry about the front because it's plastic or fiberglass I think it's plastic but you know I was going to do it this summer and I haven't done it, but because I got to take all that off. I don't know if I'm going to take it clear off. I may just take the plastic, what plastic will come off, off these rubber feet, these mats here, the running board things, I'll take them off. Probably just, you know, uh, tape that off or something just so it doesn't look too bad. And I'll scrape off what comes off and what don't, don't. Like I said, it's a working tractor. We're not ever going to restore it. We're just going to run it until it doesn't run anymore or, or until that deck goes bad. And then we'll build something out of this because I'm not I'm not paying $1,500 for a used deck, $1,000 for a used deck, uh, you know, for a $500 tractor. That's never going to happen. When this tractor cannot mow anymore, then, then we'll, we'll just go buy a new you know a new tractor it won't be a John Deere though It'll probably be a, a craftsman but all right let's get let's get started on this thing
Okay, so to my keen eyed gearhead viewers, are probably going to wonder why I've got mulching blades on here and no block off plate. Well, that's because I never had one, but I ordered one and I got it. But as you can see down here, that's ripped out. That shouldn't be like that. I don't think it's anything we've done because that's some major damage. I would say that was before she got it because she got it used. Got a big old hole down there. So I'll have to fix that before I put the mulch, the mulching cover on because you don't want to do it anyway with grass that high. It'll just stall your mower down, bog it down, stall it out, whatever. Just too hard on the mower. You only want to do that when the grass is already low. So that was just a real quick thing. So let me get my get my loud tools out here. I'll spin them off of there. And then we'll lay it down and then we'll get to these ones. I know this is not a it's not an impact saw. There's those. I don't know what that's from, but it's not from this. I do know what that's from. All right. On to the next. So this belt retainer does not have to come clear off, which is a good thing. See that, that nut, there's nothing left of it. So I did was took this out, it's still good. And then pulled it back a little bit. That gave me the room to take the belt off I need. The room I need to take the belt off. Okay, so, and then here, it'll come off once I pull this pulley off because I've got a new one of these. I've actually got two of these and one of these. So what I was supposed to get was two of these and one of these, but you know, it is what it is. So, like I said, I may, I may or may not shoot, I'll probably shoot some yellow paint there, just in real bad spots, but uh, a lot of guys will tell you spray oil on there. I don't do that because oil and grease and all that collects dirt, right? And once dirt gets wet, it never dries. So it's, it'll essentially make it worse. If I can get two more years out of this deck, I'll be happy. Uh, I don't know though, we'll, we'll just have to see. So, all right, time to get back to work. Sorry about the lighting guys, but if I get you at a decent angle, the sun is gonna be right in your eyes. And if I get you at a decent angle where the sun's not in your eyes, the camera's out in the sun, and it's very hot. It's 91, with a real feel of 105. So I can only work about five minutes at a time. So, anyway, what we're going to do, bye Monkey. Monkey's going to the store. Most of the time what I do, or most guys will do, they'll leave the blades on, put something in it to hold it like I did this too before, and take these off first. Well, I didn't do it that way this time because, well, I wasn't thinking. But if I have to hold this, I can. you can use your belt, put your belt on there, and you tighten your belt up, it'll hold it. But this is pretty good uh, air gun here, so I think it's going to be okay. Let's just see. Yeah. They've been off, like I said, about two years ago, maybe three. I did shoot some paint on there. Like I said, guys, I'm not restoring this. This is not a restore video. It's it. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that's that clunking noise. Chattering noise is what that Chevy's making. Sounds like the back end. But anyway. Yeah, that'll be. So I gotta get the Toyota running so I can get into that, tear into that differential, see what's going on. 
Sounds like some splines are stripping out on it, but so anyway, I'm gonna go in, we're gonna get some parts. You give that a tap, it should come off of there. Don't beat on it because you bend it, but a little tap will work. And uh And we'll start doing this stuff first. All right, I'll have to get the big, big one on that. All right. And then we'll take these off four bolts if you have to take these off for any reason and you and you're going to put them back on be careful because they will break but if you're getting new ones make sure you get the bolts too because usually they break last time none of them broke but usually they will so just be keep that in mind and be prepared for that because that's that's probably going to happen nine times out of ten I uh, got lucky last time, but it didn't matter because I bought the ones with the bolts then as I did this time. So, alright, let me get some stuff ready and then we'll uh, start putting new stuff on. Alright guys, I got them all out except for that one there. The head is stripped because it just had so much rust on it. So I'm probably just going to grind that with the grinder. Doesn't matter, that whole thing's getting thrown away anyway. So also guys, if you like that, that spindle there, still quiet as hell. I'm going to save it like I said. These two, this one's kind of noisy, that one's the noisiest. That's because if you think about it, when this thing's cutting grass, this one's cutting grass, throwing it into here. So this one's cutting grass, and it's also cutting what that threw over here. So it's doing double the work. Now this one is cutting grass, but it's also cutting grass that came from these two, so it's doing triple the work. So usually, and usually that outside blade will always be the worst, even if you only have two. The one that throws out it's taken everything from there as well as doing its own cut and its own work. Usually the uh, the blade on this side is always worse, but the reason why these two was worse was because I, like I said, she was mowing with that rear flat tire and just kind of mowing sand really is all she was doing. That's what, that's what did them blades in. That's okay, you know. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> I was like, you can't be doing that. Why? I said, you're mowing sand. I didn't know I had a flat. It wasn't wobbling or anything. <laughs> You're not doing 50 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we had a good laugh. I still laugh about it. She always still says, shut up, it ain't funny. Well, I, I thought it was funny then. I think it's funny now. Those are actually all loose. Uh, they're just sitting there. So, well, they're actually out. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and grind that off real quick, the head of that, and that should drop down out of there. I'm not going to save these bolts. Usually, if they're in good shape, I'll save them. These ones, nah, I'm not going to save them. They're not that great, so. Okay. Whew. Monkey just pulled in. So, I'm going to take another little break, and then I'm going to grind that one off. And... Then we'll start putting new parts on. Because I gotta put the belt on. I'm gonna put some grease on that down there. Just that little bit where it hinges. Um, you can put you can put like WD-40 or something like that on it, but um, usually that doesn't stay real long, so that's why I use grease. It'll stay there. Uh, that, yes, I will keep lubricated, but like I said, I'm not gonna put grease on these rust spots because that just that collects dirt you know dust and dirt and after a while that gets it gets wet and it won't dry and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger so that's why I'm not going to do anything on the bottom of it um, you can shoot some paint on it but sometimes if you get this cheap paint that likes to chip 
like there you can see where it's raised up water gets in there and it lays in there and that could happen to the bottom too so if it's clean like this one i wouldn't even worry about it guys but like i said this one i'm gonna limp it by another year or two and we'll go from there all right guys uh, give me a minute okay guys i'm just going to show you one and i'll just put the other ones on off camera because <laughs> it's the same thing it's just repeated three times all right there's our new one it's going to go in here here's our bolts um so wow oh, i thought they was a little more they're a better bolt though i'll give them that now i'm just going i got some grease back here just going to dip them in some grease so that way next time it won't be so hard to come out. Yes, you can use uh, you can use never sees or anisees or whatever you want to call it on here. Works just fine too. Uh, I'm putting this on backwards. Yeah, see that grease fitting on there don't do nothing these are sealed bearings so to me that's a waste of resources and I got grease on my hands can't get them started <laughs> All right, so you get the idea. I'm gonna do that. Tall of them, I'm gonna put the rest of them in. And I'll probably go ahead and put the blades on. I'll show you that. Cause there's a certain way they gotta go. And then we'll do the top. All right, two more. Okay guys, so what I wanted to talk to you about was these blades. They'll go on either way, but there's only one way that'll work. You're going to want these to whichever way it's going to blow out. Every blade will have a curve. It may not look like this because this is mulching blade, but it'll have a curve on it. That curve's what blows the grass out. And what you can tell is, see right down here, grass can't blow out this way, right? It has to blow out this way. As you can see, it's a nice little sweep around and out over here. So, if you're going to want these, see, this will be the wrong way because it's going to be turning that way. It's going to be turning backwards. So, now that we've deciphered which way this spins, now we know which way to put the blade on. Now, these ones say right on it grass side that means that's the side you want the grass to be on so it'd be like that some of these don't say that but that's how you can tell so we know it spins this way and these things are going to push the grass that way and not this way so that's good that it does say grass side uh i did put a little bit of grease on here it's saved for next time now a lot of guys will tell you don't grease something like that. Don't put any kind of lubricant on it. Because it causes like lug, lug, lug nuts. It causes them to come loose. Uh, I agree with that. I disagree with that very highly because grease is not a wrench. It cannot loosen something. Okay? So, like penetrating fluid, you don't just spray it on and walk away and come back and your bolt is mysteriously out. That does not cause your lug nuts to come off. If you're torquing your lug nuts down and they're coming loose or coming off, that's a lug issue, not a penetrating oil issue. So, you know, I just, I don't believe that. But to each his own, I guess. That's all there is to that. Now, 
we're going to get our there is a torque spec on these I'm not sure what they are but there's also a forward and reverse on these guns and apparently I don't know what they are got some seals leaking see that have to rebuild this all right okay sorry about that so I can get 140 psi out of this gun but I got it I got my regulator turned down to 120 and I just went till it stopped you're not going to snap these spindles off at that kind of pressure you might maybe strip it but I doubt it so you know just go until they're tight um, yeah it's not gonna you know there shouldn't be an issue there all right guys I'm gonna put the other two on then we're gonna get to the belt there's a couple things I want to tell you about the belt okay guys I gotta hurry I got some thunder rolling in um, this is called an idler pulley all right and so is the other little ones the other two little ones like this one that's an idler pulley when they're flat like that that means the back of the belt's going to go on it right on it okay and if they got a V like that that means they're going to ride the belt's going to ride inside like that so all right so what we're going to do with this one we know that it's going to have to come around here like this now most of these have a sticker on them this one used to somewhere I can't remember if it was on the tractor or on the deck but they'll have a little sticker with the belt diagram if you can't figure it out then what you can do is uh, you can just google it like this is an LA 145 John Deere with 48 inch cut I type that in it'll get my belt routing but I'm pretty sure I can figure this out because I've had it off of here before so this is going to come this way all right I don't like the looks of that belt it looks like it was glued together right there it looks like it was cut in half and glued together god what junks we junk we have nowadays right so I'm gonna go like this and I believe it went like this and over here so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get these put on. Oops. Alright. And uh, I'll speed you up through this because I gotta hurry up and get this done. All right, there we go. The deck's done. Now I don't have any of these keepers like this or those on the engine. Most most of them sometimes they do because uh, 
that holds the belt on the pulley of the engine. Well, this one is not set up that way. This one, uh, this is what tightens the belt. So it's tight all the time on the pulley on the engine because it's not turning and it only turns when you kick the power takeoff in. So, I think we're good to go. Man, there's a couple places where this belt looks like it's been spliced. There's one right there too. Anyway, I'm going to put these plastic covers back on. And, uh, straighten that out a little bit. Alright. And then we're going to, I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. We're going to bring the tractor up here and we're going to put the deck back on. Hopefully it ain't raining yet and we'll try it out. So, yeah, that's just a, just some couple little bolts that hold those plastic pieces on. Just going to go ahead and put them in and we'll be set. Okay, guys, we almost made it. All I got to do is put, what, five clips in and the belt. And that thing's done. But, as you can see, lightning too. I got to get this garage. I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, real quick. See if it sounds any better. Still got that one bearing, that little one. Gonna be making some noise, but. Yeah, the rest of them's all right. I'm gonna try it out. And then uh, we'll call it a day. guys spindle swap real easy when it's not so hot now once it quits raining I can finish the yard that sounds a lot better I still got that one old bearing like I said Monday we'll go get a new bearing I don't have to take the deck it's in the open kind of in the center in the open <sighs> ain't nothing to that just that one nut and then pull the old one off put the new one on so and it'll be a lot quieter than that. You can actually hear the blades now. Before you couldn't hear the blades. They're just making so much racket and the blades were so worn down. You know, you didn't get that airplane sound, that you didn't get that. Now you do. So, it's good to go for another year. Maybe even two. We'll see. Um, I know you're not supposed to cut when it's wet, but it'll be alright because... Here in a couple hours, it'll probably be all dried out again. And well, you saw the underneath of it. I put that clip in. I didn't even touch the underneath, and that's the way it's always looked because I always use that clean out, hook it up the spigot. So, yeah. Uh, good to go for another year or two. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth of Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.